All right, so we have Chris Bryant here on the very top. This is 2021 when he's absolutely back on fire. Um, he's had some injuries in the past, some oblique stuff, and then this is him on the bottom uh, at 2020. And you can see the differences, and I think the reason why he gets into these injuries is because he puts himself in a compromising position to start with and land in. So if you look at his at the bottom one, look how far out his knees are in front of his feet. That's not really a good position to be in. I, I think he's he's six five. Um, you know, he's a big guy, and he's always you know he's always had this crouch. But the problem with the crouch is you feel like at times at the top of the strike zone, you feel like you have to go up to get it. And you have to think that every single pitch that's thrown to you, you can you can hit from the posture you land in from top to bottom, outside to in. So let's just kind of go through these a little bit. I'm going to go uh, to heel plant, and this is the one on the bottom. So this is 2020 when he was struggling. So let's look at let's look at this heel plant right here, and we'll just kind of we're going to kind of put a marker right at the top of his helmet. Okay, we're just going to put it right there, and we're going to see what his what his head does. And he's actually physically trying to raise up. He's raising his whole body up to try to hit this pitch. He's trying to go up and get it. Now, granted, this ball's way out of the strike zone, but when you're crouching this far, you feel like everything up in the zone is something you have to go up to get. So you start offering at pitches actually outside of the strike zone. So getting in this crouch actually causes him a postural in, uh, issue that he feels like he has to go up to go get balls. Now, when you have this feeling, when you go up for a ball, it's almost like you should have a, you know, a, a kill switch where you, you hit this red button that every time your body wants to go up, you should have a kill switch saying, yeah, you can't swing. So let's just watch the very bottom. We're going to go to his, uh, we're going to go to, heel plant so we'll go to heel plant here let's bring it in just a hair and then we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing here let's do it like this we're gonna kind of get the same feel and then we're gonna watch at this higher pitch even you know at the top of the strike zone but he still thinks it's down to him it's in a downward move, even at the top of the strike zone. So his hands flat. Now he's changed the path of his hands. He's not trying to raise up. He's just trying to go through at this point. Um, so yeah, his body and his posture is a big part of why he's hitting. I mean, look how below that line he is. And that ball was up, right? This is up, not, not all the way up, but it's definitely up. Um, in the zone it's not down in the zone so you know this is something he's you can see he's changed you know you let's uh let's clear some of these you know and when you when you have all these moving parts look how he's look how he's he's landing right here and he's trying to move to go get this ball he's moving his head i mean he's got he's so crouched his knees are so far out that everything he moves on he feels like he has to go get where he's gotten himself a lot taller and he's done a better job at at making himself you know hold his posture so i think i think uh you know he's not chasing as many pitches he's able to really attack the top of the strike zone now top to bottom and you're gonna see you know as long as he holds this and and keeps this going you're gonna see him have a big year i think he's one of the best in the game and if he if figures things out and understands he's doing these things, he is going to be on fire for a long time and he'll stay healthy.